In this video we're going to multiply decimals, so here's the examples on page 1, this is page 2, page 3, page 4, and then we have pages 5 and 6 here, so page 5 and 6, okay. So we're going to start with um, page 1 here, and just imagine that you are multiplying 3 times 0 0.02 or 3 times 2 cents, okay. Now, to multiply decimals, the first thing we do is we write the uh, the kind of the longer number on the top. Ah, you don't have to, but it just kind of makes it a little bit neater to put the longer, you know, the, the number with more digits on the top. And you don't have to line up the decimal point. I mean, I know the decimal point for a, for a 3 is right here, but when you're multiplying, you don't have to line up the decimal points. So that's how we do it, and then we multiply it through and then we see what we get. Well let's see, okay, 3 times 2 is 6 and if you want you can go 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0. Now, think, what is the answer? Is the answer 6? Here? Could the answer be 6? 3 times 2 cents. Well you see 6, the number 6 is kinda like 6 dollars, isn't it? Right? So we we're, we want to represent cents, so I mean, we, the, we know the answer has to be um, six cents, right? I mean, the answer has to be zero point zero six, doesn't it? Right? And the, the the trick with multiplying by decimals is you count how many decimals are in all of the numbers that have been multiplied. One, two. How many decimal uh, places? or in the numbers being multiplied and there's two and so then you just go one, two you, the de you move the decimal point from, from here over here two spaces and then you put it here and then we have 0 0.06 okay and that of course lines up with what it should be right a dollar twenty eight times four let's see well four times one dollar is four dollars right so you would think this is going to be some number more than four dollars or four point something or in fact actually isn't it going to be a little bit more than five dollars it's going to be around five dollars isn't it or five point something right five point something is the answer right so when we like we're going to line it up and, and make sure our answer makes sense so we got a dollar twenty eight so we're buying four pens and each pen costs a dollar twenty eight right four pens okay so you just multiply it the same way you know put the longer String of numbers on top and the small and the the, the uh, shorter one on the bottom. It just makes it neater. And then you go okay. Four times eight, thirty-two. Carry to three. Four times two is eight, and three is. Uh, Eleven, right? I carry the one, and four times one is four, and one is five. So is the answer going to be uh, five hundred and twelve dollars? Now this is a dollar twenty-eight. You're buying four pens for a dollar twenty-eight each. What would you expect to pay, right? Is it going to be that, or is it going to be how about fifty-one dollars uh, point two, or fifty-one dollars twenty cent? Does that make sense? Or how about we'll put the decimal point over here. How about zero point five one two, which is approximately uh, zero point five. Is it going to be fifty-one cents? But how, what is the cost going to be? Well, like we said, it has to be five dollars and twelve cents, doesn't it? So we're, there's two. You basically see, look, there's two decimal places um, in the in the problem up here. One, two, and so your answer has to have two decimal places as well. One, two, like that. Okay. So the answer is five point one two, right? Or you know, five dollars twelve cent. Okay. So please uh, press pause if you like and see if you can do this one. 2 times 4.892. Okay, now just before we begin, uh, 4.892, round this to the nearest whole number. What is that? To the nearest whole number. Ra so we'll round the 8 up. So this is going to be approximately 5, isn't it? That's pretty much two. It's it's very close to two times five, which is of course ten, right? So the answer should be something close to ten, right? 
So we'll write it out, and the big long string of numbers is the 4.892. And it's been multiplied by 2. And so we put the, the shorter number on the bottom, the longer number on the top. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 9 18, carry the 1, 2 times 8 16, 1 is 17, carry the 1, 2 times 4 is 8, 1 is 9, and there were 3 decimal places, 1, 2, 3 in the problem, and so there's going to be 3, 1, 2, 3 in the answer. So 9.784 is the answer there, and um, <coughs> that is close to 10, isn't it? Right? So just, you know, it's good to, to understand why and to see that this really does work, right? Otherwise, what's the point, right? No point just remembering stuff. We gotta, if we get some sort of understanding, it, it that will stay in your brain because understanding something stays in your long-term memory. All right, so we got three tenths multiplied by five tenths. We're gonna do two things. We're gonna calculate as fractions and then as decimals. What do I mean by that? I'll show you. First, I just want to you multiply these as fractions. And, and you'll have these in your homework too, and please do it in the same way. 3 times 5 is 15. 10 times 10 is 100. Oh, you might say we could have cross-cancelled 5 and 10, or 5 and 10, but I'm not going to. Because, look, what I want to do is I just want to write this as a decimal. That's 0 point what? See, if I just leave it as 100 on the bottom, then I can get it as a decimal. And um, I have, if you remember your um, cheat sheet with uh, decimals, you've got, what's, remember you got tens, ones, tenths, hundreds, thousands, and so on, right? So, um, uh, so let's see, we've got ones, tenths, hundreds, thousands. Let's remember those at least. Um, so these are hundredths. I think it's over a hundred, so it's fifteen hundredths. So we've got tenths, hundredths, and we write five and then one. So the answer you agree is definitely zero point one five. Or in other words, it's fifteen cents. Fifteen cents is fifteen hundredths of a dollar, right? Okay. So this is we have calculated as a fraction, that's the first thing that's done. Now we're gonna calculate it as a decimal. Now write three tenths as a decimal. Three tenths is zero point what? 0.3, yep. 5 tenths as a decimal. What's 5 tenths as a decimal? 0. Point, now tenths, of course, is just the first place. You got tenths, hundredths, thousandths, so 0. 0.5, right? We're just going to multiply those guys, right? And um, 5 times 3 is 15, put down to 5, carry to 1. 5 times 0 is 0, and 1 is 1. And um, if I want to, and you don't have to, you'll see if you want to you can take the zero and go and start multiplying by that just imagine you're doing long multiplication so actually first of all you would put a placeholder zero there now zero times three is zero zero times zero is zero and then you add don't you add them and of course and we get uh, so we've got to add these guys so we get five one <coughs> zero and um, what we do now is we see, well, there are one, two decimal places in the problem. So there's going to be two in the answer, right? And so in your answer you go one, two. And you put a decimal point there, and there you go. There's your answer, 0 0.15, right? Um, well, let's just do this one more time because there's an easier way. I didn't have to multiply by this zero at all, did I? I could have just went five times three is fifteen, carry the one, five times zero is zero and one. And just stop there because look, I know that zero times that is zero, zero times that is zero. Every, I'm just gonna have a bunch of zeros. So I don't even need to do it. Now if I just count the decimal places one, two, and then in the answer, one, two, and the decimal point goes there, right? So 0 0.15. So that's a neater way of doing it. Like if, if you're going to be multiplying by zeros, you can just skip it basically. So um, please press pause and try this one yourself. Two tenths multiplied by two tenths. I want you first to calculate it as a fraction. You know, 
and then it's a decimal. And remember last time, okay, we got 0 0.15 in both cases, and you know <laughs> they they should be the same, right? So first of all, calculate it as a fraction, and then as a decimal. So as a fraction, you've got write down the answer. Two times two, four over ten times ten, one hundred. Yep. Now what's that as a decimal? Zero point what? Four hundredths. That's four hundredths. Remember your cheat sheet. Is decimal point ones, decimal point, then tenths, hundredths, thousandths, right? Tenths, hundredths, four hundredths. So the four goes there, and then you kind of put a placeholder of zero. So the zero, the answer is definitely zero point zero four as a decimal, right? Now we're going to calculate this as a decimal. We're going to go 0 0.2 multiplied by 0. Point, say 2 tenths is 0 0.2, isn't it? 2 over 2 tenths is 0 0.2. We're going to multiply. And we can do this. 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times 0 is 0. We don't even have to do that. And um, I can take this zero, multiply it by everything if I like, put in a placeholder zero. Zero times two is zero, zero times zero is zero. I can add, I'm just gonna be adding a bunch of zeros, I'm gonna get four there anyway. And a bunch of zeros, so why would I bother? You don't have to, you can if you want, it doesn't matter. But there are one, two places, decimal places in in the problem, so there's gonna be two in the answer. See one, two, so one. 2 and then you stop right there and the answer is 0 0.04 okay and just really quickly if you wanted to just go 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 0 is 0 and just stop there because you know this is going to give you zeros anyway you could just go 1 2 places in the problem 1 2 places in the answer put the decimal point here 0 0.04 so this way or this way are correct uh, I guess you can do whatever, whatever you like I kind of think this this way is a little bit uh, less simpler. Anyway, so we got the same answer, 0 0.04. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is prove to you that this method does work, and and hopefully you'll get an understanding for it, not just kind of memorize it. Hopefully you remem remember it too. But I mean, it's it, the understanding is really really helpful for the brain, you know. Okay, so if we had four hundredths times two hundredths, we're gonna do the same thing, we're going to calculate as fractions and then as decimals. I'm going to put those instructions up there. So with two steps. So the first thing to do is, first thing I'd like to do is calculate these as fractions. So multiply the tops, then multiply the bottoms. What do you get? And don't cross cancel because we want a factor of 10 on the bottom. Okay? Because on the bottom 100 times 100 is... What is 100 times 100? <coughs> Well, it's how many zeros? One, two, three, four. It's going to be one, and then one, two, three, four zeros. Ten thousand, right? So I want it as you know, ten thousandths, and on the top, four times two is eight. So I'm not going to cross cancel. I'll just want to write like that because I then want to change it into a decimal. Eight ten thousandths is zero point what? Okay, and I'd really like you to, to practice this. Um, we've got. Tenths, hundredths, thousands, ten thousands. Tenths, say it. Hundreds, say it. Thousands, ten thousands. Right? Remember that? Tenths, hundreds, thousands, and ten thousands. So it's eight ten thousands. So we put eight here, don't we? And now you have three spaces for zero. So just fill that up with zeros, and then that's your answer. Right? Now, if I multiply this, so I've calculated this as a fraction. Now I'm going to calculate this with decimals. What is four hundredths as a decimal? Zero point what? It's like four cents, right? Four hundredths of a dollar is four cents. So tenths, hundredths. So the four goes over here and you put a zero here, right? Tenths, hundredths. Right? What is two over a hundred as a decimal? It's zero point tenths hundredths, right? Zero two. 
then we multiply them, okay? So 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, and if you want, you can go, okay, put a placeholder 0, multiply by this 0, 0 times 4 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0. Then you can deal with this guy, if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could need to put two placeholder zeros. 0 times 4 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 0 is another 0 over here, sorry, and then you add them all up together and you get 8, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? And then where am I going to put the decimal point? Well, let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal places in the problem. See that? 1, 2, 3, 4. So there's going to be 4 in the answer. 1, 2, 3, 4. The decimal point goes here. So the answer is 0. Point. Oops, my mistake. 0. 0.0008. Okay? Now, um, Um, what is it? Okay, so, and that matches up with this, doesn't it? 0 0.0008, right? Now, I just want you to do this, if you've done it once this way, just please do it another way, so you learn both ways. Because the shorter way uh, is quicker. 2 times 4 is 8, okay? 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, and so on. And then, once you start getting into this, zero times that is zero, you're going to get a bunch of zeros, you already know that. Once you multiply by this guy, this is going to give you a bunch of zeros, and you already know that too. So you don't even have to bother. And then you can just go, there's one, two, three, four decimal places in the, in the problem, so there's going to be one, two, three, four decimal places in the answer. Put the decimal point there, Okay, and you've got to put in another placeholder zero, right? And and also always put a zero uh, in front of the decimal point. So zero point zero 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 eight, and that's the answer. That was a quick way to do it, right? Zero point zero 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 eight. All right. Okay, so please press pause and do this one by yourself. Thirteen hundredths times three tenths. Multiply these out and get fraction. First step. So calculate this as a fraction, then write it as a um, decimal, and then calculate the whole thing as a de using decimals. So I should have said calculate using fractions, then using decimals, right? Okay, so the bottom, 100 times 10. If you had $1,000 bills, what would you have? $1,000. So like I said, you know, please, most important thing is press pause, try and do it, and then check the video. Or race me is the best best thing to do, right? <coughs> 13 times 3, well, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 1 is 3, that's just 39. So we've got 39 thousandths, which is 0 point what? Don't use your cheat sheet if you need it. Okay. 0 point tenths, hundredths, what's next? Thousands. So these are thousands. How many? 39. 9 goes there, 3 goes there, and of course we have nothing here so we put a 0, right? For a placeholder. So this is definitely 39 thousands, right? Now we're going to calculate it using decimals. What's 13 hundredths as a decimal? It's 0 point what? Hundredths, it's like cents, zero point is a tenths, hundredths, so thirteen, right? What's three tenths as a decimal? Zero point what? Remember the decimal uh, points do not have to be underneath each other when you're multiplying. That's only with adding. With multiplying they can be anywhere. Okay, three tenths as a decimal, zero point three, right? Tenths, you, uh, ones tenths, right? So we just go ahead and multiply that. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 0 is 0, and you don't have to multiply this 0 out because it's going to give you zeros down here anyway, we already know that, 
So just you can just skip that part and then we just count the decimal places in the problem. One, two, so sorry, one, two, three, isn't it? One, two, three. So you start here. One, two, three, and then you put your decimal point here. 0 0.039 or 0 0.039 and is that the same as this? Should be. Okay. So you get a chance to check your answer and understand why you're doing the correct thing. That's the whole idea. Okay. Page four. <coughs> we're gonna oh same thing again. We're gonna calculate as fractions and then as uh, decimals. Okay. So 8 times 8 tenths. If I was to calculate this as fractions, write 8 as a fraction. 8 as a fraction is 8 over 1. Yep. Uh, and then it's been multiplied by 8 over 10. And what does that give? 8 times 8, 64. 1 times 10, 10. How do you write 64 tenths? as a decimal. Well, you could say it is 10 into 64 goes 6 times remainder 4. It is 6 and 4 tenths. So that is 6 point what? Is that 6.4? Yep. Okay. So we've calculated it using um, using um, fractions, now we're going to calculate it using decimals. So um, 8 tenths as a decimal is 0 0.8, isn't it? And we're being multi multiplied by 8. So 8 times 0 0.8, what does that give you? 8 times 8, 64, carry to 6, 8 times 0 is 0 and 6. How many decimal points in the question? It was just one, wasn't there? So we just put one in the answer, and of course we get 6.4. Okay, so that works out, right? How about uh, this question here? Three and a tenth times nine hundredths. We're going to calculate it as fractions first of all. Do you remember how to multiply mixed numbers? First of all, you've got to change them into improper fractions. 10 times 3 is 30. 30 plus 1 is 31. So it's 31 over 10 multiplied by 9 over 100. Okay, that? So multiply the tops, then the bottoms. Don't cross cancel anything. Not that you're able to in this case, but go ahead and fill out what you get. 10 times 100 is what? 31 times 9 is what? Okay, if you had hundred dollars, ten times that would be a thousand, right? Thirty-one times nine. Thirty-one, nine, multiply that. Nine ones is nine, nine threes is twenty-seven, so two seventy-nine. Is that correct? Yep. Thousands. Write that as a decimal. Zero point what? Now say it. Say this. Tenths. What comes after tenths? Hundreds, right? What comes after hundreds? Thousands. Like tens, hundred thousands, right? How many of them? Two, seven, nine. So the nine goes there, seven goes there, two goes there, right? So the answer is 0 0.279. Now we're going to calculate this using decimals. So how do you write three and one tenth as a decimal? It's three point one isn't it? And how about um, um, nine hundredths as a decimal? Zero point zero nine, right? Uh, in fact, of course, usually we'll be just you'll go okay zero point zero nine and then kind of decide. What, how do I want to line this up? Okay. And, hmm. I would 
probably do the 3.1 to the top and do the 0 0.09 to the bottom because then you only have uh, you only have one line in the answer basically so there's there's more um, digits other than 0 in 3.1 so that's why I put him up there and the decimal points do not have to line up remember that they don't have to line up it doesn't matter but it like it, it's simpler just to when you're multiplying remember you don't have to line up the decimals just line up the digits right so um, 9 times 1 is 9 9 times 3 27 then 7 carry the 2 or 2 two goes there and uh, then you can start multiplying by zeros if you like 0 times that is 0 0 times that is 0 and, zero times, uh, and then you can do this 0 and get a whole bunch more zeros if you want you don't have to and you can just all you need to do is count the um, decimal places in the pr in the question. One, two, three. There's one, two, three decimal places in the question, so there's going to be three in the answer. I always start here. Okay. So this is going to like 279, and the decimal point is here, but we've got to move it over one, two, three places, all the way to here. So we have point two seven nine. I oh, will stick the zero in front of it like that. So 0 0.279, and that is correct because that is the answer, isn't it? 0 0.279. So what I'd really like you to do is to please press pause and really, 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 and truly do this one by yourself, okay? Because you're gonna have done the homework, and, and you really want you to make your mistakes while you're. If you're gonna make mistakes, try and make them uh, during the videos because then you can catch your catch your problems instead of just kind of staring at the screen and not learning anything so it's it's when you're trying it when you're making mistakes and trying to do it yourself that's how you learn okay and, and then hopefully the homework will go a lot easier because you've already have figured things out uh, using the videos so 2 and 5 tenths times 400 so please press pause and, and you're gonna first of all calculate these as fractions so you have to turn everything into a fraction and multiply them right You got it? So you're pressing pause and, and okay, now I'm gonna try it. So uh I, I'm gonna do it now, okay? So uh, just to, so you can check your answer. So turning this into a fraction, um I could uh put this in those terms, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go ten times two is twenty, and then twenty plus five, I've got twenty-five tenths. I could put it in those terms, but I'm not going to here because I wanna have a factor of uh, of ten on the bottom. So I've got twenty-five over ten times and then we've got um, 4 over 100, right? And if I multiply the bottoms, you see 10 times 100 is 1,000. So I want uh, a factor of 10 on the bottom, 100, 1,000, 10, 100,000, whatever, right? <clears throat> on the top, 25 times 4 is 100. So as a decimal, this is 0. Point what? One hundred thousandths, right? So we've got tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So zero, zero, what? One hundred thousandths. And of course, that can simply be written zero point one, can't it? Zero point one. Yep. Okay. So the answer should be zero point one. We're going to now write these things as decimals and multiply them. So 2 and 5 tenths as a decimal is 2 point what? 5 tenths, 2.5, right? And that's been multiplied by what's 4 hundredths as a decimal? 0 point tenths, hundredths, 4 over here, 0 0.04, right? Okay, so I, I guess uh, once again with this one I would like to do the 2.5 in the top and then 0 0.04 because then I just have one line to do in the answer not two lines so if there's anyway there's more significant digits what is what they're called there's, this guy has two significant digits two digits that are not zero and this one has uh, one okay so anyway if I multiply them I go 4 times 5 is 20 carry the 2 4 times 8 is uh, 4 times 2 is 8 and 2 is 10 and then if I want 
I can multiply this zero through and get zeros. Then I can multiply this zero through and get zeros down here, but I'm not gonna bother because I don't need to. And I can count the significant digits in the question, or count the decimal places in the question. So one, two, three. And count them in the answer then. One, two, three, right? And so you put a decimal point here, and we have 0 0.100, which is what we have up here. And that, of course, can simply be written 0 0.1. Same thing, right? So the answer is 0 0.1 in both cases. OK. So um, we'll do some more just general practice with multiplying decimals now. We're just going to look at a half of $4.62, for example. Can you write down what that would be? What would a half of $4.62 be? You know, and once again, if I if I calculated this as a, using the fractions, of means multiply, doesn't it? And 4.62 over 1, you could write that like that if you want. And then you could go 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into that goes twice, 2 into this goes 3 times, 2 into that goes once, so 231. But you probably would have figured that, in your, you might be able to figure that in your head. It's got to be $2 something anyway, isn't it? $2 and uh, 31 cent. That makes sense, right? Okay, so um, also I'd like you to remember that 0 0.5 is how many tenths? 0 0.5 is 5 tenths. Now put that fraction in lowest terms, what do you get? 5 and a 5 goes once, 5 and a 10 goes twice. That's a half, right? So my point is that 1 half is equal to 0 0.5, isn't it? So if I'm getting a half of four dollars sixty-two, what I'm another way of looking at that is an of means multiply. I'm going zero point five. See, a half is zero point five. Of means multiply. Multiply by four sixty-two. Okay. So I'm going zero point five times that. And so I'm going to multiply those decimals out just to see if I end up with two thirty-one. Okay. So four sixty-two times zero point five. Zero point five. Remember, you don't have to line up the decimal points. Um, and usually, because there's a whole bunch of digits in 462, I like to put that guy in the top and the other one on the bottom. So, by all means, press pause, multiply this out, see if you get the same answer. Please press pause and try it yourself. Okay, I'm going to do it now. 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1. 5 times 6 is 30, and 1. 31, carry the 3. 5 times uh, 4 is 20 and 3, 23. Count the decimal, and I, I could multiply by this zero if I like and get a whole bunch of zeros down here, I'm not going to bother. Count the decimal places in the question. 1, 2, 3. See, 1, 2, 3. Count them in the answer, start here. 1, 2, 3. So 2.31, which is correct, 2.31, right? So, 2.31, yep. Alrighty, let's look at page six. We're gonna get 5.3% tax of this, and then we're going to do this problem here. 5.3% um, tax of that is approximately 5%, it's approximately, it's about 5% tax of, and this is almost $2,000, isn't it? Okay. So let's just get an estimate on that first of all, before we multiply it, so it makes sense to us when we get the answer. Now, 10% of something, like 10% of $2,000 would be $200, wouldn't it? You might be familiar with 10%, with okay? Well, 5% is half of that again, so it's actually $100. So does that kind of make sense, that 5% tax, let's say a sales tax on $2,000 would be $100, right? So let's take a 5.3% sales tax of that. Or you could think this could be a Medicaid um, tax on your wages or something like that, right? But in any case, uh, what, what we've got to do, 5.3%, we'll, we're going to look at percentages later on. This isn't part of the problem, but I just want to show you that that is 5.3 per 100 divided by 100, which becomes, um, which any, anyway, anyway, it becomes, um, 
0 0.053. Okay, and I'm off means multiply, so I'm going to multiply that by 1897.34. Okay. Now, which number should we put in the top and which one on the bottom? What would you prefer to do? What, I mean, I know it's going to take a little bit of time no matter what we choose, but there is one way it might be a little bit easier, I think. I'm thinking if we put this guy in the bottom because he has mo way more kind of digits in him, so we'll put him on the top. 1897.34. And put this other guy in the bottom. Uh, 350. This guy's decimal point is here. <laughs> and then 0. So you, you do try to line up the digits. Okay, and then multiply. So yeah, we've got to line up the digits four, three, three, five, seven, and zero, nine, and zero. See that? So just be careful. If you make, if you get sloppy, that's where your mistakes come in. So you got to try and write neatly. That's part of your. You get lots of points for writing neatly. Okay. Okay. So three times four. Uh, by all means, press pause and try this, and then check the answer. That'd be much better than just. Okay, so 3 times 4 is 12, carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9 and 1 is 10, carry the 1. 3 times 7 is 21 and 1 is 22, carry the 2. 3 times 9 is 27 and 2, 29, carry the 2. 3 times 8, 24 and 2, 26, carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 and 2 is 5. Did I make a mistake? Okay, so um, just want to make sure that's that worked. I think it did. And then um, if we're going to multiply by this five next, we've got to put down a placeholder zero, just like in long multiplication. Okay. So we go five times four is twenty. Okay, and that uh, you got to put zero down and then carry the two. Right. 5 times 3 is 15 and 2 is a 17 carry the 1 5 times 735 and 136 and carry the 3 um, 5 times 945 and 348 and carry the 4 5 times 840 and 444 carry the 4 and 5 times 1 is 5 and 4 is 9. So now we add these guys. 2, 0, actually I'm just going to check that last one, sorry. 20 carry the 2, 17 carry the 1, 5 and 6 carry the 3, 8 and carry the 4, 4 and 4, yeah. Okay, so we got 9. The 9 and 6 is 15, carry the 1. 9, that's 15, carry 1. 10, carry the 1, and 1, 9 is 10. Okay? <coughs> so you count the decimal uh, places in the question. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then count them out in the answer. Start here. Okay, you ready to go? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So our answer is one hundred point five five nine zero two. And could you round that please to the nearest hundredth? So if it's round to the nearest hundredth, and this is dollars, remember. It's one hundred point because I want it round to the nearest cent, basically. The nearest hundredth is the nearest cent. So hundredths, tenths, hundredths. This is my hundredth place, and I want to round this number up. So I've got a nine coming after it, so that has to go up, right? That makes sense? Okay. So um, by all means, uh, you can press pause and try this one yourself, otherwise I'll, I'll do it with you. Okay, so the big long string of numbers <coughs> is 8.0002 so I'm going to put that guy in the top and I'm going to put the other guy in the bottom 3.05 and just I'm trying to keep um, 
the des the digits underneath each other two five zero 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 three right so basically I'm just going to imagine it's a regular long multiplication problem and I just deal with the decimal at the end you know where we where we just skip it ahead skip it to the to the left okay, okay so five times two is ten carry one five times zero zero and one five times zero is zero see that five times zero is zero five times eight is forty okay so did you get that five times two is ten carry the one five times zero zero and one is ten five times zero is zero five times this zero is zero and five times eight is forty right then we go with this then we've got to put in a placeholder zero don't we it's, it's just long multiplication just ignore the decimals for now and you take this zero and multiply that by everything and you kind of have to do this now because after that is going to come a three so we got kind of have to do that in a way zero times two is zero zero times that is zero uh, that's zero yeah zero yeah so you get a whole bunch of zeros of course I guess we didn't really have to do that but anyway it just might keep it more might make a little bit more sense so now we need two placeholder zeros right and then we multiply by this three okay so three times two is six three times zero is zero three times zero is zero three times zero is zero three times eight is twenty four did I do that right three times two is six three times zero is zero three times zero is zero 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 three times eight twenty four yep then we add them all up together right zero one so you have to give space and write neatly otherwise these things will be all messed up won't they okay so um, do your best on your homework to write as neatly as possible you get points for writing neatly right so let's count the decimal places one two three four five six do you get that one two three four five six and count them in the answer now one two three four five six so to twenty four point four zero zero six one oh or simply twenty four point four zero zero six one you don't have to write that last zero right now um, does that make sense or how, how do you know if your answer is close or or off how would you estimate this I mean round three to the nearest whole number what do you get three point I mean three point zero five three point zero five round to the nearest whole number is well it's three isn't it What's 8.0002 rounded to the nearest whole number? It's basically, it's yeah, it's almost exactly 8. And what's 3 times 8? Well, that's 24. So my answer should be somewhere around 24. And what do we get? 24.400061, right? So that's the way to uh, estimate it.